Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is for Leo, Summer Nising Venus. We'll be taking a look into your love life for the rest of March 2022. See what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect, get some insight with your guidance overall, see what's happening for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life. What do they need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Leo in love for the rest of March 2022. What messages do we have for Leo regarding love? Any messages for Leo, Summer Nising Venus? Regarding love, we have the Three of Wands along with the Four of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, messages for Leo regarding love. The World Backside, okay, I am seeing you're getting closure on a situation um, from your past. Some sort of heartbreak or heartache that you went through, whether recent or a while back. I'm seeing that you are working through letting that go and moving on in a new direction. Now, you may still feel as if you have lack of answers, lack of closure, and it's been kind of like on your mind, possibly kind of eating away at you. It still weighs kind of heavy on your heart, fairly heavy, but I do see that you've been working a lot on healing and getting back your energy and just overall working on yourself and getting stronger and just really recognizing your worth, really realizing like, wow, I deserve so much better than this shit. <laughs> Right? Maybe you dealt with someone who just like got up and abandoned you, left you for something else, or just like ditched you, threw you away like you meant nothing. Like your relationship, your connection literally meant nothing. And like that is such a shit thing to do. And so yeah it like left you with questions left you wondering like why did this happen what did i do could i have done anything differently um like you know really just stuck attached to the situation attached to a person um but with the work with the effort eight of pentacles you know you may have realized certain cycles that you found yourself in or the types of relationships the types of connections that you would attract were based off like trauma from your your parents from your the way you were raised your upbringing um and so you may have really been working a lot on yourself and healing your inner child and as you're doing that you're getting closer getting ready to this new start now we have the full backside this is aries energy you're not quite ready you are getting closer you're definitely getting closer i feel like you're inching closer to taking a jump taking a risk taking the leap and i love that in the backside of the fool we have the shooting star and then we literally have the star coming up next so it's like a wish coming true very soon like if you're wanting wishing for healing wishing for something new to come in wishing to be able to let this go i see that that's coming your way with active effort of course because healing takes time but it also takes work if you don't put in the work you're kind of just like you know distracting yourself trying to shove it under the rug and you end up finding yourself in similar situations attracting similar outcomes um so i'm assuming you don't want that so you do the work and that's what creates change right but it's a slow and steady change it's not just going to be something that happens dramatically overnight this is like something that's been ongoing leo you've been going through this change already and slowly but surely you're getting ready for something new you're really focusing a lot on um your future now i just have to point out remember to stay present remember to stay grounded because sometimes we get so carried away about our future what we're gonna do a month from now a year from now a week from now it's like we need to remember to stay grounded in the present because that is really the only moment we have the past is in the past the future is not set in stone so this is just like a little friendly reminder to stay present um because we end up overlooking all the things that we do have and we're like oh well i don't have this and i don't have that and i wish i had this and i wish i had that and i how come i don't have this yet and really focusing on lack and we don't want to be in that energy so if you don't want to attract more of that <laughs> you have to recognize and absorb and appreciate all the good shit that you already have currently and when you work with that energy of gratitude you're attracting more of it and it's just like this beautiful harmony so just remember that you have lots of new things coming in now where you are currently you know, there might not be a lot of fulfillment or it might just, you know, there's it's just kind of bare, bare bone. It's very dry. It's just very kind of stuck, stagnant, unfulfilling, not the most joyful, right? And so you're wanting a change. You're wanting a change 
and the change is here the change is ready but it requires you to let go and move on from this past situation and that might be a little challenging or it may take a little extra work a little bit of discipline dedication but i do see that the possibility is there and healing is definitely taking place right so just keep that in mind let's pull some more cards and then we'll do a little clarifying any other messages for leo temperance did try to come out we have the king of cups along with the two of pentacles so you do have some sort of choice to make um all right oh that's a big ass okay no sorry spirit that's like too many cards i'm talking like there's probably like 10 cards we can't take that many so let's just shuffle this a little bit more and all of a sudden i'm getting very congested all of a sudden like literally out of nowhere don't know why <clears throat> just bear with me it is starting to be spring over here so the snow mold is quite bad it's pretty gross <laughs> it's really dusty and dirty outside um but i'm so happy it's like warming up i'm so grateful because i'm sick of that cold ass weather <laughs> all right any other messages for leo regarding love for the rest of march 2022 wow talk about what the hell <laughs> it was flying we have the ten of cups backside all right messages for leo regarding love justice messages for leo regarding love seven of swords eight of swords high priestess okay we'll go with these cards and then we'll do some clarifying after so you are trying your best to weigh out options you're juggling a lot there's a lot on your mind there's a lot even on your heart that you're juggling um some days are better than others some days it's good you're feeling confident you're feeling very positive you're feeling very grounded and in control of your emotions other days might feel a little bit wonky a little bit emotional where you might be feeling way more sensitive or agitated and you know you might also be juggling with like pressure of other people and wanting to make other people happy and you may this is not always going to apply for everybody but you may struggle with like people pleasing so you got to remember you got to put you first um and also another thing if you have some choices or decisions to make leo really listen to your intuition of like what's going to be the best thing for you um there might be the hesitation to like doubt yourself or to ignore your intuition or overthink your intuition be like oh my god no it's my fears or it's my like you know just like having doubts and like having a hard time believing what your gut is telling you so make sure you really pay attention to that tone in tune tune <laughs> hone in tune in to your intuition um you're getting very very close to reaching this fulfillment in your connections in your love life especially when it comes to romance um you're getting very close it's still at a distance but you're working on getting closer to that as you are taking the baby steps because that's kind of what it feels like you guys are taking baby steps you're not like diving full in you're kind of just like dipping your toes in seeing how that is maybe going up to your ankles all right maybe going up a little deeper whatever but like you know you're taking your time there's no rush and it's important that you move at the speed that you're most comfortable with especially with this three of swords out here there is still some hurt some some heartbreak that you could be currently dealing with because i i want to say your heart is fragile or sensitive you know so handle with care handle with care all right you've learned many important lessons lessons have been learned and also if you have any important choices to make uh obviously like i said use your intuition but you may also have to use a logic-based decision or like head over heart your heart might be like oh but i want to give this person another chance but like you know based off past experiences and the patterns you may be giving them two three ten a hundred chances and where did that leave you right remember the lessons that you learned and don't forget all the shit you went through because you know our brain can really fuck with us our brain can delete distort our memories where you know we look back at a situation or relationship we're like wow that was such a great relationship i missed it so much but we forget like all the the nasty ugly shit that you went through or vice versa oh my god that relationship was the fucking worst and our mind deletes and distorts all the good times and only focuses on the bad times so like our mind can, you know our mind can be very biased uh so just keep that in mind um just like <laughs> 
just keep that in mind i don't know i was gonna say something else it left my mind you guys all right and also anybody who screwed you over or hurt you or done you dirty done you wrong disrespected you pulled some nasty shit they're gonna be getting their karma 100 percent so don't even doubt it don't even second guess it you're getting yours and they're getting theirs <laughs> okay uh we do have the seven of swords and the eight of swords um first thing that came to mind is self-sabotage so be mindful of that leo you may have the tendency to like overthink something or like sabotage something good going on in your life or you know you really feed into your fears your fears get get in the way and then you end up pushing people away or thinking things are too good to be true or that you're not deserving or you know shit like that you need to be mindful of the things that you're telling yourself the thoughts that you're telling yourself um how else can i read this there might be something that you're not fully aware of or you're not fully seeing and with the high priestess coming out here again it's the message of you needing to rely on your intuition i feel like your intuition is trying to tell you something so let's let me take a look into that let's take a look into that high priestess so what is is are you picking up on like someone's intentions might not be pure or like someone's intentions weren't pure or like maybe you're suspecting like someone you dealt with probably relating to this heartbreak maybe you you have a feeling like they lied or they did something behind your back but maybe you don't have proof or maybe you don't have evidence but like something like you got this feeling inside of you that you can't seem to shake i th wasn't that like your last reading i can't remember if that was you or someone else but i think it might have been yours anyways let's do a little clarification let me take a look into this high priestess because i feel like there's there are secrets or like information that you're not fully aware of or you haven't fully um been able to like undercover or receive or fully understand just yet let me see let me look into this high priestess energy for leo can you tell me what this is about for leo summer rising venus regarding love for the month of march 2022 high priestess for leo we have the ace of swords reverse so you see there were secrets or lies manipulation um like you weren't seeing the truth about something but perhaps the truth is being exposed the fool regarding some sort of new beginning the five of cups and six seven of cups reverse see you're getting some sort of clarity what is this <laughs> what is this um something that has you puzzled something that has you very fucking confused and lost and just like you didn't understand let's say Let's go back to that example, the four cups, someone abandoned, left you behind, left you for someone else, or just went ghosted you or blocked you or just cut you off out of nowhere. And it left you feeling confused. It left you wondering why, what did I do? I didn't even get an explanation. I didn't get any clarity. I didn't get any closure, right? Because we had the world backside indicating that there's like lack of closure, lack of answers, um, loose ends, the door's still open. There's still that, that wanting to know why like you just want to know why here and the ace of swords reverse indicating that there could have been lies secrets um you didn't have the truth about a situation but then we have the the fool and the seven of cups reverse indicating that there's this new beginning aries energy by the way did i mention the signs we have aries aquarius libra those are the main uh, zodiac signs we have out here. Yeah. Anyway, so there's this new beginning or you're on this new chapter of your life. Um, and as you're walking this new path, you're getting some sort of clarity, but it's not telling me what this clarity is. Four of Pentacles reverse, eight of swords, the seven of Pentacles and the seven of swords. Yeah. You know what? First of all, it does look like you're letting whatever this is. You're letting this go. We have the Seven of Swords coming out twice, you guys. You found out or you really... You confronted something. You may have confronted someone. Oh, we have three sevens out here. Seven, seven, seven. So seven might be a relevant number for you. But I feel as if you could have, like... Some of you confronted someone... Or you wait you were sitting and waiting patiently to catch someone red-handed or like 
you like let's say you had suspicions but you didn't bring it up you kind of just let it play out because you know if you were to call them out they'd tell you you're crazy leo you're crazy leo you don't know what you're talking about leo shut the fuck up <laughs> like <laughs> um so you waited but you so you you knew something was up but you kept playing the game they didn't know that you were aware of the game but that you have different rules that you're playing basically does that make sense what are you finding out let me let's let's take a look into the seven of swords all right the fact that it came up twice all right what's the seven of swords about for leo sun moon eyes and venus regarding love seven of swords for leo regarding love oh shit cards too many less cards seven of, okay the chariot two of cups okay what is this four of cups oh there oh i just got chills <laughs> i just got chills kind of the seven of swords for leo summarizing venus regarding their love life for the rest of march 2022 seven of swords for leo hermit that one cut out for a reason okay there we go the tower Ooh, knight of cups ten of wands nine of wands and the lovers so this is about oh and the king of swords wow and the moon this is just giving me like a lot of confirmation you guys um just for my sake so i can understand the situation um oh. definitely a karmic relationship or some sort of soulmate type relationship but does just because they're oh my god they're you're they're you're <laughs> what the hell just because they're oh they're my soulmate they're my twin flame okay and you shouldn't have to keep that around you if they're putting you through this shit you know people like to hold on to the idea well they're my soulmate so i have to be with them through the thick and thin they're my twin flame so i have to be with them through the thick and thin no matter what they could stab me like literally stab me with a knife and i will still always love them and keep them in my life fuck no yeah <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying but there are literally people out there and i, I mean to each their own but just a reminder just because they may be a soulmate of yours then you know honestly they might even be a false soulmate anyways not my business not my business anyways clarifying the seven of swords the chariot and the two of cups i honestly feel and this may not be for everybody of course but i honestly feel from this someone was moving right moving behind your back in another connection or in another relationship and left you for like someone left you for someone else someone thought that the grass was greener on the other side and they left you because they're like oh well this person has more money than leo or this person has this this and this so bye leo and like they left you in the dust to like be with someone else and left you wondering like what's wrong with me right questioning your own worth that kind of shit it just does not sit right with me in my gut like it just makes me almost feel nauseous um we have virgo energy and scorpio energy coming out and cancer energy then we have the hermit and the tower you went inward you reflected on this and you realized like holy fuck like my intuition about this situation was spot on you know you may have brought this up to this person um and talk to them talk to them or you try to and like all they would do is call you crazy or like lie to you or spin you in circles and have you just feeling so confused like they could have gaslit you um and so now that you pulled away and distanced yourself from their energy you really have been like you're like awakening to the reality of this then at the bottom we had the knight of cups so again this is about some sort of like romantic interest that you were dealing with um, then we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. This was such a burden for you. This weighed so heavily on you. This was just such a negative impact on you. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Like, this was just a bad fucking influence. Point blank. And with this Nine of Wands out here, they're taking the blade and they're removing this shit from their life. So that's literally what I'm seeing here, Leo. Is as you pull back from this, as you distance yourself, or just like... Yeah, as you pull back from this energy and you really take a moment to reflect on like 
what they put you through you realize you deserve so much better and that you're actually better off without this in your life like you're just getting full on clarity about this situation and it's allowing you to detach the moon more of that reflection energy and the king of swords you guys being able to take the blade and remove this from your life using that analytical mindset head over heart your heart might be telling you well they're my soulmate they're my soulmate so i have to keep them in my life fuck no right logic kicks in yeah sure they may be my soulmate whatever but you know what i deserve better than this and there are better people out there and i'm not gonna fucking stick around tolerating this crap point blank all right <laughs> okay so let's move on from that we're running out of time i'm trying to keep these you know fairly short because they're just like little check-in love reads but let's take a look into this wheel of fortune see what like you can expect moving forward what are these changes about what can leo expect moving forward from this Whew, yeah wheel of fortune for leo summarizing venus regarding love for the month of March, what are the changes Leo can expect? Talk about this Wheel of Fortune. Something about divine timing could be important for playing a key role this month. I can't even shuffle this deck anymore. <laughs> it's sad. And this is upside down. Okay. Wheel of Fortune for Leo. All right. Moon reverse with the Ace of Wands reverse. Again, it's just telling me you're no longer investing into this. You've gotten the clarity. Answers are right there in front of you. Intuition turned out to be correct. Uh, Ace of Wands reverse. You got no energy, no desire, no passion left to put towards this shit. You're focusing on moving forwards, right? No more holding on to the potential of what it could be or how it used to be, right? You're seeing it for what it is. Tied the Wheel of Fortune for Leo. What can Leo expect? <laughs> the moon my decks no it's not the sun reverse again clarity it's just giving the same messages you guys different cards with the same messages four of swords and strength your energy coming through leo energy coming through twice pisces energy as well um and the four of swords so again more of that internal energy spending time alone do not uh disturb mode um taking the time out to reflect and look at the reality of the situation and it requires a lot of strength um and even patience with yourself but you see this for what it is anyways moving forward uh it does require a lot of strength to move on from this but you're doing it baby steps three of wands at the bottom double confirmation baby steps justice double confirmation and the devil <laughs> wow I got chills. Um, Capricorn energy and Libra energy. We have a lot of major arcana showing up through the, throughout this entire reading, Leo. So just keep that in mind that this is very fucking significant. And whoever had screwed you over, whoever did this to you, whoever lied to you, played you, left you for someone else and left you in the dust um, when they no longer needed you, when it no longer benefited them, they're getting their karma. If not today, if not tomorrow it's coming it's just a matter of time before they reap what they sow and they sow this shit guess what they're gonna get it back tenfold point blank just like you when whatever energy that you're putting out there you're gonna be getting that back too what goes around comes around that's been a theme that has been a theme for the last few signs i've done um pretty sure i said that in like gemini's read taurus like there's some similar themes it's interesting the energy that the collective is dealing with we are in pisces season it's the final month or the final like zodiac before the new year the new zodiac year right in aries which is very soon so it's kind of like that crunch time major lessons being learned clarity it's it's a crazy time i don't know about you guys but even personally pisces season's been it's been crazy <laughs> oh my goodness it's like give me a break and apparently okay don't quote me and i don't know too too much but apparently april is gonna be pretty crazy too just astrologically speaking with all the transits going on like oh god everybody <laughs> get your seatbelt on get strapped in because it's gonna be a crazy time I, I feel like it's um judgment day almost like based off the actions that you take you've done the things you've said oof, that's going to reflect what kind of what what comes around you know so keep that in mind judgment day is coming not only for you but those who have done good to you and those who have done harm to you so 
yeah if you've done the work if you've been a good person there's nothing to worry about but if you know you've done some dirty shit (laughs) well you should be afraid i'm just kidding well i mean anyways Leo, we're going to leave your reading here. I hope you found this helpful and insightful that you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Uh, If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. So you can find me over there at Jade Stone Tarot. Oh, wait, I already said that. Oh, my God, brain fart. (laughs) Wow. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.